channel. Well, welcome to a real channel. Yeah, we don't lie over here. Uh, we definitely don't attack nobody. Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Please, is there anything I can do, sir? Please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging. Please. 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 Some time has come. Something happened that I never thought would happen, to be quite honest. Farther troll. Meow. 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 Then it's going to be one in the wind column. One for the highlight you know, and one for the bad guy. There you go. You're gonna have to say you're sorry or you're going to jail, I promise. They refused to help me while I was in Logan County Jail and paid my bond. I think we need help in this way. You need to be what kind of help? Put in a straight jacket and take to a loony bin. I retire as an auditor, so I'm officially done. But I'm the new honey boo boo of auditing. <laughs> and I told my fiance, and he just started busting out laughing. And I'm like, dude, that's not funny. That's not cool. I'm not the honey boo boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. In today's video is another great one brought to you by Chrissy Boy. Well, it's his after court. Uh, live stream that he's doing and let me tell you it's nothing but a cry fest and they did this they did that they're lying through their teeth uh, you know I'm not even gonna spoil for spoil it let's just enjoy the show so sit back relax and enjoy the show there was a close call they actually tried to put me in jail uh, trolls Carrollton Ku Klux Klan member that's been harassing us and stalking us, tried breaking our house a month ago. Um, literally was there to do it again. And uh, he didn't like that he learned real quick that I wasn't gonna keep putting up with it. That eventually I was gonna uh, let him know that it was not okay to keep attacking my girlfriend the way he has been, calling her a prostitute and um, talking shit about her kids and saying that she's got STDs and chasing us. Hold his hand on his gun, chasing us in the door, that kind of shit. Uh, everything that guy just says is bullshit. Thank you. So if you're talking about this guy that I just found his channel, the one that went to the court, recorded you going in, nothing what you said happened. And if it did happen, why are you not posting the video online? And let me ask you this. If he chased you guys into the building with his hand on his gun, that's a threat. Why did you not get the police over there or the sheriff's department, whatever it is that's there, to come and arrest him or take care of the problem? Because it never happened. Let's take a look at the video right now. You got something to say, sweetheart? What's up, baby? What's up? Why are you here? Why are you here? For you. Good. Now, Chrissy, I don't have a law degree, and I don't have any really, uh, I don't have a doctorate or nothing like that. I don't have any kind of degrees. But to me, by looking at you walking up aggressive the way you did, it looks like you were the aggressor, not the other way around. You almost ran up to him to get in his face to ask him, what are you doing here? If you just got out of your car, you looked over at him, and proceeded to walk right into the building, he would have probably stayed there by his car, and that was it. Tell some more lies. See you in court. Because I got your lies. I got your uh, Come on, dash cam. Oh, I'm going to. Cupcake. I ain't never been close to your old lady. You shut up, bitch. Better carry your ass in there. Here I am. Here I am. I'm right here. Ain't nobody gonna hurt you because you're a comedy show, bitch. So instead of the being the bigger man, even though you pretty much uh, made it sound like you were the bigger man on your live stream, that he was the aggressor, you were the innocent victim, 
Well, it's amazing that you couldn't show this video to your, your viewers so they could see what exactly you are. And, you know, nothing would have happened if you just got out of your car, you looked over, even if you didn't look over. You got out of your car, walk right into the building, and that's it. Do your do what you had to do. Do your court. And, I mean, look at this guy, the way he dressed. Look at him the way he dressed. Sneakers, black pants, maybe black blue jeans. T-shirt, uh, what do they call that? The button-down shirt sticking out like that. You're going to court, whether it's a pre-trial, just a not guilty plea trial, whatever you want to call it. Why would you dress like that? You need to dress presentable. Nice suit and tie, maybe a, some kind of polo shirt, button-down shirt, nice pants, nice shoes. But you look like a bum, and you're going to get treated like a bum. <laughs> hey, she ain't your bitch. You can't tell my my wife to shut up. You. Oh, so you think it's okay to talk to my old lady? Like you? I ain't talked to your no lady. Oh, you have it. No, I have it. Get close. Get out of Get close. Go ahead. I'm, Back off. I'm live streaming. Back off. You walked up to me. If you have to pull your cell phone out and record everywhere you go, I got news for you. The people that encounter you are not the problem. You guys are the problem. And look at her on the right. Look at Tiffy. There's nothing attractive about her. You know, you know, you can look at people no matter how ugly they are and find something attractive about them. There is absolutely nothing attractive about her. She's just a nasty human being. You know, you spit on me, that's assault, motherfucker. Now I'm going to have to go get tested for AIDS. How great would that be? The guy walks in there with a spit on him all over his shirt and then he gets a sheriff's officer to arrest dumbwaiter. How great would that be? Not only does he get arrested, but he misses his court date. And look at that face. Look at that mouth. Oh, my God. I feel bad for whoever the camera guy was. Get that close to him. Oh, my God. The breath. I can only imagine what that smells like. <laughs> I find it truly amazing how all these frauders say how bad cops are, yet when they get confronted, oh, officer, officer, he's harassing me. He's confronting me. I'm scared. Now, I don't know who that lady is sitting down recording, but don't you find it strange that frauders get all bent out of shape and the world's going to end when they get recorded? But it's okay for them to do the, the same thing that she's doing to him. They could go in and stick their camera in people's face, make everybody feel uncomfortable, harass them. But when the shoe's on the other foot, oh my God, the world's going to end. Wow, Chrissy, you're a very bad man. You're a tyrant. The guy is in a publicly accessible area, a lobby, exercising his First Amendment rights, and you want to get grown men with guns to come and possibly hurt him and put him in torture cuffs and then go to the dungeon. What is wrong with you, Chrissy boy? What is wrong with you? Um, and I'm a big dude, y'all. You know, I'm not the kind of person you want to chase his girlfriend around making... Uh, disgusting, lewd, illegally making comments. So I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not the kind of guy to do that to. And Tiffany's not the kind of girl to do that to. So uh, they try to file a police report on me. 
over it, just defending myself. Dude come up trying to film our license plates, following us to the courthouse. Comes right up to you. That's not what the video shows, Chrissy. Why don't you tell your subscribers the truth? Maybe you'll actually get a lot more subscribers. Well, your subscribers are complete imbeciles anyways, because they, they throw money at you. Oh, wait till you hear about that one, guys. Wait till you hear about that one. It might be, I don't know if it's going to be in this one, but it'll be in a video I do with him. Because this video is really, really long, and unfortunately I'm going to try to chop it up a couple times so he doesn't try to privacy strike me or copyright strike me. You guys are going to be blown away when you hear how much of hard-earned money that people wasted donating to this guy, how much he spent. It is mind-blowing. You know, last time he was there, he had his hand on his pistol. Uh, chasing Tiffany in, saying that she had STDs and she needed to be at the clinic, not at the courthouse. These are our court dates, y'all. Like I said in a previous comment, probably closer to the beginning of the video, if he was running after you with his hand on his pistol or handgun, whatever he had in there, why don't you call the sheriff's department, make the report? They could probably, I would say, probably either arrest him or chase him off the property. Uh, the cops there encourage crime. Uh, you heard that right. Here, sit up close to the edge there. Um, the police in Meade County, Kentucky, the Sheriff's Department in particular, uh, they encourage crime. So if you're a criminal um, and you uh, want to commit crime, if you would like to commit crime, um, the police in Meade County encourage that you go there. What was that all about with the camera moving on her chest? What are you trying to show us how flat she is? And let me ask you that shirt. You had money to make that shirt, but you didn't make those shirts that you promised the, your subscribers that you were going to give away. The, what was it, five shirts you were going to make to give away? What happened to that? Honestly, what happened to that? Oh, yeah, I remember. You say further down in a live stream that you went to order them, but then when you clicked uh, further down the line in the ordering process, the fees were higher than you thought. So you didn't look. What you should have done, you should have been smart. You should have looked on web pages that you could do one, two, three shirts. Not, But what you did is you went on a site, if you actually did go on a site, you went on a site that charges a printing fee. Basically, it's a setup fee. It's like 100 bucks, 150 bucks, some places. I seen that when I was trying to get shirts made, and I said, no way, I'm not doing that. Oh, did you want to see that? Well, I have some people asking me what my shirt says, and this was just me checking it out to see what it would look like on a shirt. So, it says, what will Kaiser steal next? And then, it's got an, uh, an array of... we got your firearms, we have your floor safes, mm -hmm. we have your Prescription pills. Prescription medications. Uh, we have your Purple Hearts. Don't forget PlayStation. We got the PlayStation. Money. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. How, how do you get commit fraud? Frauds should be on there, too. I find that hilarious. They have all that money to waste on getting that shirt printed, but yet they don't have money to pay for lawyers and everything else. They have to e-beg for lawyer fees. Oh, you know what? They probably use their GoFundMe money to make that shirt, too. Channel, well, welcome to... A real channel who does yeah we don't lie over here uh we definitely don't attack nobody <laughs> the reason i'm going in front of a grand jury is because scarborough lied for 10 straight absolute minutes so he lied for 10 straight minutes. So did you have a lawyer or were you representing yourself? Because if you were doing it yourself, you're a stupid fool and pretty much shows. I have no clue what that hearing does or what you can say or you can't say. But if you have him on the witness stand lying, why didn't you or your lawyer say object or say he's lying and show proof? I mean... I would, I would think you'd be able to, right? And don't forget, save your money because like I've been telling you, eventually we're going to have to do a fundraiser to pay lawyer fees uh, on some stuff. So, you know, we will be asking for help and we hate doing that. 
Let me translate what he means by that. He wants everybody to pay for his stupidity and his mistakes in life because he has no accountability. He has no morals. He has no discipline. He is a loser. He is trash. He's a drag of society. He is just like Jeremiah, where he thinks everybody has to take care of him and support him for his stupidity and his uh, failings in life. Well, life doesn't work that way, buddy. You pay for your own mistakes, not everybody else. If you want to help, if you want to look out for us, it's help us pay our lawyer bill. Your actions have consequences. Why should everybody else suffer and foot the bill for your stupidity? Grow up, be a man, like you claim that you are. I <laughs> shit you not. Like, that's going to be a tough one for us. We've already spent more than 15, 10, 15 $17,000. We've already spent $17,000 in one year. You racked up $17,000 in one year in legal fees? Are you that stupid? What is even worse than racking up $17,000 in legal fees is most likely his stupid idiotic supporters probably gave him all that money and then some to pay that. So he has no responsibility, and all it is is an incentive to go out and break the laws even more. Nobody in their right mind has $17,000 worth of legal fees in one year, unless they're some kind of business. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the show. Remember to like, share, and most importantly, helps me out a lot, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Obviously, Captain Happy got a ranch who's a troll. It doesn't only apply for the Second Amendment. It also applies for the First Amendment. I have constitutional carry for this camera. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. If you want to know what I'm doing here, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Oh, man. I cannot handle this no more. <laughs> this is bull. Yo, I can't even take it. Oh, <laughs> man, this is... I can't even handle it no more. Some time has come. Something happened that I never thought would happen, to be quite honest. Could you briefly tell us what the Third Amendment is? As the walk of shame, you need to remember what you swore to protect. And my voice is terrible today. Please, sir, please don't make me sleep. Thank you. They're not criminals. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Oh, my God, don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Well, you guys really don't know what you're doing to my life, because, man. Seriously, please.